How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and review AVG PC Tune-Up 2015. It looks like AVG finally stepped up and now they made their own PC Tune-Up program and this program has so many features this video might take a while. <laughs> but first let's go ahead and take a look at the PC Mag website here and see what they had to say about it. They say that the pros on PC, uh, AVG PC Tune-Up is that it improves system performance and it does and I will show you here in a bit that it does has deep system scan and repair, the real-time monitoring, one-click system repair. The cons is that it has license limitations. It can become re relatively expensive if you purchase more than one license. Every license is $39.95. Right. They say that the bottom line is that if you're looking to turn back on the clock on, worn, on a worn Windows PC, AVG PC Tune-Up 2015 offers respectable system cleaning performance but has license limitations like it said before. All right, without further further ado, here is the program. And it's really neatly organized. It has so many functions and let's go ahead and look through them. The first one here is maintenance and it's right now set for automatic. You can change that in the settings button here. So let's go ahead and click on the scan now button so you can see what it does. So what it's going to do is it's going to search uh, any registry problems defra uh, defragment it's going to defragment the registry remove broken shortcuts clean up windows and programs clean up the browser optimize system startup and shutdown and the last thing defra defragment hard disk which takes forever this took two hours on my computer so these first couple of uh, these first what are they one two three four five these first six uh, jobs will do them right away but the defragment hard disk part will take a while. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this because this will take a couple of hours. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So the next thing is the PC performance here, and you can uh, let's go ahead and click on Show Details so it tells us what needs to be done. It will do a quick analysis. All right, and it says uh, hardware and software. There's uh, unused programs. Actually, unused programs has been optimized already automatically. And there is functions that negatively impact performance. There's two recommendations, and that's to change the power plan and to turn off quick Windows search, which is not really a big deal. I think you leave that the way it is. Internet settings, it says uh, internet connection has been optimized, so apparently it's going to speed up my connection, which I don't really believe it's going to do, but eh, if it says it's doing it, then it probably is. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Now there is an Internet Explorer um, uh, configuration we can do here. The recommendation is a specify settings. If that's eh, not much of a big deal, it's just that you don't have to worry about that. Visual effects it says you can change. Now that will really speed up your computer if you're looking to tune up your computer. Visual effects are a big thing, so. What it's probably going to make me do is uh, turn off visual effects, Windows controls, and all of that. You can go through the list and do all that. Smooth edges of screen fonts, you can turn that off. You can turn off a lot of stuff, and your computer will run a lot faster. All right, guys, let's look at hardware and software here. So basically, this is the same thing that we're looking at. This is the overview, and then these tabs are just uh, more detailed than what we're looking at. Go ahead and close this. Let's go ahead and look at the PC Health section here. It says it found 10 problems. Let's take a look what they are. First one is automatic search for Windows update is turned off. Second problem, no Windows update installed. Those Windows updates, I have them that way because I hate Windows updates. I only get the ones I think I need. I know it could be dangerous or whatever, security issues, but Windows updates sometimes. I'm working on something. My computer just restarts on its own. I hate that, you know. So that's why it did that. And uh, problem three: services will not close normally at shutdown. You can go ahead and fix that. Uh, problem five: network access to the registry. And it just tells you uh, what fixes can be done here. But that's what's nice. It, you know, it has a a, a way. It walks you through the steps of fixing it, so that's the good thing about this program, which I'm really liking right now. Problem eight: 
uh, there's something called Paidu Protect that is not working and that device needs to be sorted out and uh, Apollo 9 is the same thing Apollo 10 system drive has been never checked for errors the hard drive so it will check your hard drive for errors which is nice because that's important you don't want to lose all your data from a hard drive that's going out you want to know ahead of time if your hard drive is going to fail all right now let's take a look at the rescue center this is actually um let's take a look here here you can uh select what you want to rest what you want to you want to go ahead and rescue I, I really don't know how this really works but here's the backups down here you can set it for every two weeks uh, every two days whatever you want to do and uh, it will back up your system that way I still got to look into that a little better but uh, looks like it does back up your system and it tells you here the optimization potential if you need to do anything it'll tell you so you can just click on it it'll take you right to it that's what I love about this program all right now another thing I want to get into is the, the, the turbo mode so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this and we're gonna take a look at how much memory we're using we're using 3.37 of 6 gigs total now we're gonna turn the turbo on and see how that fix how that makes it run with less memory so it what it did is it, it made the display a lot uh, more simpler and lots of other things so now we're down to 3.22 21 so right there it saved us a hundred megs of memory of RAM which works so there is the results there is the proof that the turbo uh, ver the turbo feature of this program actually works. We're down to 3.2122. Let's turn it back, back. Let's turn it off. Let's go to standard and let's watch the RAM go back up again. And there it goes. Now the RAM is back to 3.30 something, 30, 33, 34. So there you go, guys. There's the the proof that it actually works. <coughs> All right, let's take a look at the optimize tab here. From here, we can disable programs. By disabling programs, uh, for example, the ones that start when you first start up your computer, there's programs that start up, so it's always good to disable the ones you're not using. And it looks like our looks like it started it. Okay. Disable startup programs. There we go. Now it's starting it up. So from here you could choose which ones you want to disable, which ones you want to enable, stuff like that. And here's the startup manager. So here you can choose if you want to start it or if you want to not start it from the startup. Alright guys. And here is the program deactivator. If you have a program that's always running and you don't use it, it's always good to deactivate it. That way you free up more space on your RAM that way your computer runs faster you can configure live optimization so you can uh, make that uh, automatic all the stuff you do you can configure live optimization you can clean the registry defang the registry this is the same thing as what was in the dashboard so it's all just being organized right now defragment disk remember through maintenance you can do all that too through the cleanup you can also do it through maintenance too so all these other tabs just um, specialize in one area, but during the in a dashboard here, you can do it all at once. All right, guys. Fix problems, same thing. Check drive for disk errors, same thing we were looking at in the dashboard. Uh, display and close running processes. You can do that through here, or you can right-click the taskbar and start the task manager and go to processes on Windows 7 using Windows 7. Windows 8, I recommend you use the actual program. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Windows 8 has a way of just doing its own thing and you, you know how Windows 8 is it wants to do its own thing and it's different <laughs> you can also personalize the program however you want to do it and not only this program but your computer too the start menu taskbar animation and effects stuff like that the login screen visual style all of that stuff you can do from this program which is nice and if you want to look at all the functions at once you go to all functions and here is everything now, 
I got to give this program a good rating. The only thing is it's very expensive, like I said. But I'm going to give it a really, really good rating because it, it does everything. Look at this. It does everything. Disable programs, hard drive functions, usage data, registry, computers. You know, your actual computer, you can personalize it. Uh, it gives you recommendations to increase performance, fix problems, and uh, how to fix problems with Windows, too. Mobile devices, too. It gets into that. iPhone, iPad, or I, iPad, it, it helps you clean up space with on those devices using this feature here. And you can undo changes, check for updates, settings. This program is nice. I really recommend it if you guys are looking for an all-in-one solution. Again, it's a hefty price tag, but it, it is worth it after what we looked at here. I'm using the trial period right now, so I only have 12 days left. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm always uploading new videos on new software coming out. So check them out. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.